Hello, District 58 families. My name is Justin Sissel, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. On behalf of our district, I want to share some information with you about our upcoming curriculum nights, as well as some general information regarding District 58's instructional decision making for the fall of 2020 and where you can find this additional information. This year's curriculum nights will be held virtually using the Zoom platform. For our preschool and elementary school students, families will be invited to a 30-minute presentation by their homeroom teacher. Families of middle school students will follow their students' virtual schedule, joining a new Zoom session every 15 minutes for each individual class. Specific information, including those Zoom links, will be shared directly by teachers beginning on Monday. The goals of Curriculum Night are to introduce teachers to families, to share information with families about what learning will look like for their students this year, and to provide an opportunity to answer questions about learning, not necessarily about individual student needs or progress, but about the learning experience in general. In a typical year, this would include visiting the classrooms. This year, families will experience the classroom setting via Zoom. And as part of this, teachers will explain the ways in which students can interact and ask questions, and they will likely ask you to interact in that same format were you to have questions during the presentation. In some cases, those questions may be answered live during the curriculum night session. However, depending on the time available and the nature of the questions, some of those questions may also be answered by individual teachers following up directly with you after curriculum night has concluded. While individual teachers will speak to the specific experiences in their classrooms, there are some district-wide elements of curriculum that I would like to share with all of you. We are working diligently toward providing a consistent educational experience for all students in similar grade levels across the district. We also know that with all of the limitations imposed upon us by the pandemic, instruction will not look the same as it previously has. To that end, we are working collaboratively to make deliberate instructional decisions within each grade level and content area. The most visible example of this is our Trimester 1 Essential Standards document. This document can be found on our website under the Academics tab. Once you find this document, you can view the standards that will drive our Trimester 1 instruction and will also be seen on the report card at the end of the trimester. This document contains all of the standards defined for each grade level and content area for trimester one. These report card descriptors and standards are typically general statements that are tied directly to the Illinois Learning Standards. For example, in second grade, you will see demonstrates understanding of key ideas and details. To learn more about the specific skills within that standard, you can navigate to another page on our website, the report card page, which is also under academics. And then further down that page, you will find our report card resource documents. By clicking on that same descriptor, which is demonstrates understanding of key ideas and details, you then see the more detailed information. The format of the trimester one report card is still under development for this fall. We know that guidance from the Illinois State Board of Education encourages us to use typical methods for reporting student achievement and also emphasizes feedback from teachers to students. We as a district absolutely share that value that feedback is of utmost importance, and we also recognize that our families value our trimester report cards. Though the methods may be adjusted during remote learning, teachers will absolutely be assessing student performance just as they always have. We will make a district-wide determination about how that assessment information will translate into the trimester report card in the coming weeks. While the standards provide guidelines for concepts and skills, they do not detail specific assignments and activities that will be happen happening in classrooms. Typically, these would be visible to families via take-home folders or perhaps students' assignment notebooks, but during the remote learning period, we are providing this information via weekly lesson plan documents. You should have already received links to these documents and know that these links will remain the same consistently, so this would be a good link to have bookmarked or saved for yourself on your own personal devices, as well as making sure your student knows how to access it regularly on their school device. Similar to an assignment notebook, this document provides a brief description of the activity or assignment, and whether that activity is live or synchronous, or to be done independently, asynchronously, and also whether or not a submission is required. Additionally, in the elementary version, we can see first the specials classes, art, music, PE, and library. 
It's important to note that these are expected as part of a student's instructional day, just as they would be in a typical year of instruction. While we certainly value and appreciate families who supplement activities at home that may include art or physical activity, for example, we also know that that does not replace these lessons, which are crafted to contain specific sequential instructions aligned to the Illinois Learning Standards. The middle school plan documents similarly give a brief description of the activities students will engage with each day. Rather than linking the specific activities, this document provides the information to be able to inquire of your middle school student about their day's work with enough detail to promote both independence and accountability. The other thing to remember with this document is that teaching really is more of an art than a science, and while we attempt to predict activities and assignments a few days ahead, the reality is that excellent teaching requires flexibility and responsiveness based upon students' actual performance and demonstration of their understanding. Because of this, the things listed on these documents can and will be adjusted accordingly. Again, the purpose of these documents is to give students and families information about the current day, but they should not be used to plan a full week ahead with expected precision. As changes occur, teachers will update these documents accordingly. This could almost be described as a behind-the-scenes look at a teacher's daily lesson plan book. Just as we hope these documents help provide families with needed information during remote learning, we similarly hope that families understand the necessary flexibility involved in all teaching and learning and realize that some days simply may not exactly match what had been planned. I hope that this overview was helpful to you. If you have any questions about the content in this video, particularly as it relates to the district level components of curriculum and instruction, please feel free to reach out to me directly either via phone or email as listed on the screen. We are very excited to welcome you to our virtual curriculum nights in just a few days, and as always, we thank you for your partnership in education.